All right, what is up, guys? So we are going to be playing... Um, oh, sweet, my, my partner's playing something good. All right, so I'm playing uh, Cyframes. Looks like my partner's playing a really broken deck. It's the uh, Magician Pendulum Perform Pal deck. Uh, the deck is like some next level broken stuff. Sky R is just like next level. You talk about broken, you see, you see this bad boy here. But anyways, um, or this is a tag duel. I saw Axis denied. He's the owner of this uh, application on Salvation Server because uh, DevPro doesn't have the um, Cyframes yet, um, to my knowledge. I don't think they do. But, oh, because I tried a lot of replay, like, error dot on this, and then I did error on both. All right, so he's going to go ahead and... Noble Dragon Magician. Oh, is this a different build? Is this, not, is this the rank 7 one? All right. Oh, wow. They're telling me, make me admin? Oh, I wouldn't mind. I would definitely take admin. No problem. But, yeah, we're, we're playing against the owner of uh, DevPro. Oh, no, sorry, not DevPro. Well, I think at one point he had some admin access to it, but I don't know. Anyways, uh, I go for first turn clearing Synchro Dragon. Pass. Okay. Well, um, my archetype uh, revolves around... Um, this is actually a pretty decent play because like he gets that stuff for free. Um, which one's the t this is a tuner? Dang it! It's a spellcaster pendulum tuner effect. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, why not a, a synchro uh, tuner effect X Y Z? Um, uh, Gemini. Uh, what else could we add? A ritual. Uh, just everything. I, I want to see a, uh, a a ritual normal like with effect. Well, it's, it's funny because like Scout totally has an effect. It shows it's normal, but it totally is not normal. Anyways, Goblin Bird going to be summoned, and uh, Clearing Single Dragon probably not going to be able to answer this because Mecha Style bounced that thing back. Um, but that's okay. Um, it depends on what I get in my hand. Uh, one thing that I do want to mention, though, is that my deck doesn't really work during tag duels, but I wanted to get a Cyframe deck, uh, a duel going for you guys because it just came out. Utopias, Utopias for day. Stacks on stacks on stacks. Alright, so let's see what he's going to make. Oh, dude, this card is so good. It's like I attack, can't do anything. Woo! He's going to detach double, 5,000, so... Ouch, man, that is pretty big. It's a big monster. And you can't activate anything when it attacks. It's, it's kind of unfair. It's like, yo, I have, I have 5,000 when I attack, nothing. It's like, dude, come on, man. G give, give me a break here, man. Um, I kind of need to place something over that. But uh, first off, we're going to duality. That's, that's hands down. That's definitely what we're going to do. Um, we got options with this. Ooh, number wall. Oh, dang, what is this? Um, they can't be destroyed by card effects. Oh, then no problem then. Um, I really want more Cyframes to be honest. Um, I do need to get rid of that field spell in order to do that. Um, I can tactically wait. Um, I don't know. Like, I don't know if he really needs this. Uh, partner, partner, do you need field spell? Um, because if he doesn't need it, I mean, it's an okay card. Nope, okay, because sometimes you only really need it for that one turn anyways. Um, he says no. Which one Which which one is my partner? Okay, I, he said no. So I'm going to go ahead and go with what he said, which was no. Um, and we're going to go ahead and I'll place this over it. <laughs> Slay just kind of got asked, yeah, wait, he's face palming. Wait, hold on. Well, I mean, this one's on your side of the field, so I can still eat Tally and get rid of that thing. So I'm going to place this down. I'll place this down. He says he doesn't need it. You, you guys heard it first. He said he don't need it. Um, I'm going to go for this because it adds tactically more potential utility. Um, I, I mean, it will get rid of the monster and I could maybe Black Rose, but like, I, it's pretty much irrelevant. Um, I'm going to go with card card actually the reason why is because i don't know what the other guy is playing so uh, not bad we have more cyphering cards and uh, i don't really care about this card this card's not really relevant and, uh, with the exception of him going to the okay so sending a card and then once he goes into his okay no okay i just have to make sure once he like enters uh ends main phase is when i need to uh use this because i don't want to i want to get rid of this card i'm just setting cards like crazy okay I think he's just gonna go, okay, dang, that's a lot of setting cards. Um, is he gonna summon a card? I don't know, find out this time. Okay, end of main phase. So, we have a few options. Uh, I'm gonna go for uh, overload right now, and we're gonna overload this bad boy, so we're gonna activate this now. Um, I don't really mind getting rid of Cyframe Circuit. It's one of the most important cards, but um, the way I see it is if my partner, like I like having the utility of having both of these, and I can have another one anyways. So we're gonna go ahead and banish this card face down, and, um, this card makes so it can't be, uh, what is it, targeted, uh, no, no, is it targeted by monster effects? It's, uh, 
can't be destroyed by card effects and cannot be destroyed by battle. So, except for with another number monster, which it doesn't really matter. I can start banishing cards for days here. Um, this card's really good. If he destroys this, that's fine with me. Um, I'm going to maybe... Uh, number wall can't stop it. Number wall, not even good, man. But um, I got two of these, so if my opponent would uh, normal or... Okay, or he can activate that. That's also another option. I could actually black rose the field um, if I want to. Um, let's see what he... Well, I don't know. I have no idea what he's playing. If I can get Black Rose the field, I still think that that's an okay option right now. Even though I'm going to lose this, um, this card will give me free utility anyways. Um, I could E-Tele just to dump one more card, but I'm just not really interested in it right now. Um, oh, Black Rose is actually with this one. It's still fine. I still don't mind making this while I still can't. And it negates that card, so it's like double utility over here. And then we get to Synchro during our opponent's turn. That's what really makes this archetype so good. And we're going to go for Omega. And this card is also another strong card, and he's already set one turn, so he doesn't have his normal summon anymore. I don't know what he was going to Foolish, but I figure I can make something right now, and it might help my uh, partner next turn, because this card is really, really strong. Okay, so it's, oh, Dark Hole. Okay, so unless we're turning either plays main face, I can uh, banish this face-up card and one random card in my opponent's hand. So I can just be like, oh, you Dark Hole? No problem, man. So I'm going to go ahead and not chain E-Tally. And then we're going to banish one random card out of their hand, and bam, look at that, so good. Um, and it's only until the next standby phase, so that's really good. Um, I'm not sure what he planned to do right there, but um, pretty good stuff. He basically used like most of his cards, because he Darkhold his own monster. And this will reveal what he's playing. Ooh, he's got a Tengu, and uh, I believe Tengu was face down? Uh, nonetheless, this card is so annoying to deal with. Um, had I had Black Rose, or had I had, like, uh, this is 6, right? <laughs> I don't even know the levels of my monster in my own deck, sorry. I literally just built this deck, um, and I wanted to try it out. I don't even know if this is an optimal build. There's a bunch of cards I didn't really like in the archetype. I like the one that negates uh, spells and monster effects and attacks. Um, there's one that negates traps, but um, you have to control no monsters, and like usually your opponent's going to activate traps um, at other times, but... Mistake, it is pretty annoying to deal with, but um, hopefully he will be able to get rid of um, the stuff. And this card ba basically protects itself, because you can just banish it. You Use effect. Please, please tell me he knows to use the effect. Um, this is the biggest, like, amazing, like, card that I've seen in a long time. Because you, you just can't get rid of it. It's just like, oh, you do anything? Nah, I'm going to banish the card in your hand. Uh, anyways, and um, so we do know that he has Regeki, which is pretty much going to be irrelevant. Um, I feel like... We will be winning. This is good. Uh, I'm beating the creator of the uh, this server. Um, I don't think he made... Oh, dang, we got freaking Odd Eyes Pendulum. I, I suggest getting rid of the uh, number wall um, with that Draco Sack play here. But then again, I mean, we might have game. I've, okay, we're just going for that. All right. Obviously, attacking first the main phase two Draco Sack pop. The uh, number wall wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, I almost like that he has mistake. That's probably going to... I like how he has like a... A foil token. Okay, so we're synchroing up for Moonlight Rose Dragon, and then um, I I don't know why specifically this card was made because uh, when five or higher has come out, um, he gets to actually get rid of something. But he's playing an Exceed deck, so I'm not sure how I feel about that card. Um, also, this is, it comes back during your next standby phase. Okay, so when it goes back to my turn, no problem at all because like we know that. The other guy's going to have Red Kick in. Like, it doesn't matter if these die. But I don't want these to die during my turn. That's always something that you have to keep in mind during, um... When you're playing, uh, Tag Duels and you're playing a... When your partner's playing Pendulum and you're not playing Pendulum. Or if they're playing a Pendulum deck that's like Cleese and, like, you can't special summon things that aren't Cleese deck. It causes a lot of problems. But, um, I, I really hope that, uh... I mean, he's got a lot of cards still. Um, this was his card also. But he's bit, he's got five cards and I guess you can count this. But he's maybe locked himself out of doing stuff because of mistake. That was a mistake. He activated a mistake against himself. The roost is up, man. But let's see what this play is. Oh, what is what we got? We got Italia. Okay, so that's pretty much... I don't know. They are spellcasters. Um, I'm trying to think if any of them are uh, psychics. I don't know. V Salamander. So it looks like we're playing against like a Utopia deck. All right. Uh, I feel like Utopia decks are more oriented around, like, like slightly cheese, getting, like, one monster out that is, like, super, super strong. Um, okay, he's going for that. Okay. 
But yeah, like I don't think Moonlight Rose Dragon was the appropriate play. I think going for Draco Sack and to pop this would have been much better. So, oh, he's just doing a 5,000 attack. Okay, I gotcha. Um, there is another Cyframe card that lets you banish one face-up card. That one is really strong as well. Um, okay, so... And this is the one where... Um, okay, you have to, yeah. Okay, detach double. And he does have a back row as well. I actually don't really want a monster. Um, I could just banish that card, and I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, what's the one where it's... Uh, act, it's monster effect. This one is... Um, normal or special summons a monster. I think I'm going to go ahead and just use... Oh, well, I, sh I need to activate this effect regardless. Oh, I don't know what it's trying to say. Um, I, I just want to return it. Okay. Um, okay, there we go. That's that's what I actually wanted. <laughs> okay, I was kind of confused. I'm like, well, well what's, what's going on here, man? So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. And we're going to go ahead and uh, get rid of this. Managing the cards for days. Too good. Too strong. I love that card. And this one isn't... Let's see. And this card is equipped to a monster. Okay. Destroy all. Oh, wow, that's a pretty good effect. Wow, that is pretty good. Yeah, but he has no idea how to beat Cyframes. They're a really strong deck, uh, as you guys can see. Basically, if he's going to try to do anything, uh, Psych, YY, Fakey, Fakey. Um, we also have this effect that if it attacks, I can boost his attack up. I'm not going to use that right now, because I still want to abuse the Cyframe Overlord. I feel like that card is just so 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 strong in this game and the other guy has basically no cards um i guess i could have went for this play um i, I could have dealt a thousand more damage i don't know if it, it's not like it would have made it game uh even next turn we're gonna have to uh do more damage but uh anyways yeah i'm gonna go ahead and activate this card's effect and um we'll go ahead i mean i could have actually went into another card but it's fine Duality. Duality is really good. Oh, I want that Miracle Synchro Fusion in here. Definitely want that. Uh, no, we don't need to do anything. But yeah, Miracle Synchro Fusion. Uh, fantastic card. Um, but actually, you know what? That was a done goof. Mistakes on board. Um, I thought... I guess Excavate... I thought it was from the deck. From the deck to their hand. I thought Excavating would mean that it's going to the grave. But okay, I'm bad at this game, maybe. Um, I feel like we can win this game if I just go ahead and activate this and get rid of this and I get rid of this. Um, because the other card guys, if you remember last turn, we were able to attack and nothing happened. I don't think we can check the face. Oh, okay. We can't. Um, cause it was actually face up. If the card was face up before and then it got, oh, well, it, it just banishes it face down. Then I guess we get to see it. So that's a thing. I mean, this card is still going to be so strong. Uh, wait, what did we just activate? Oh, we just activated the where you like pop one. Um, at this point, I feel like it's safe to say that we won the game. Uh, but, I mean, watch that. That's the Mirror Force. Uh, and what's bad is he doesn't have a card in his hand, so we can't actually use this effect. But um, that's a strategy that you can use against the uh, Side Frame Lord Omega. I believe he has to have one. Uh, and it's, oh, what the heck is uh, Absolute Dragon? Wow. Uh, when any monster player declares an attack, you attack one of these and special summon. Oh, uh, you can negate the attack and special summon an odd ice monster from your hand or graveyard? And if it's sent to the graveyard, you can special summon. What the? Dude, every, every time you read these new Yu Gi Oh cards, I'm like, what is this, dude? Watch, well, he's gonna mirror force, mirror force, mirror force. Oh, he's negating the attack? Is that, like, better? Uh, but it's. Does it have to be in defense mode? I... Oh, and you still get to attack? What? Oh, that doesn't seem very fair, but okay. Oh, we're, we're all... Wait. Could you not attack with this card or something? I don't know. Either way, um, pretty close game over here, boys. Uh, what does this do? You know, like, he's he's going to show him crazy. What's this? Okay, so Pendulum. Um, once per turn, you can target one face of XYZ monster you control this turn. You can use it as an XYZ material for an XYZ summon using its rank as a level. Oh, that's pretty interesting. But, yeah, like I said, the, the, the side frame play that I had was so good. And then, um, he Darkhold himself. Um, 
I don't, I mean, it's the guy that literally, like, made the thing. I don't know if he import, he is the one that adds the new cards, and, because if you're programming it, you should know the effects, but maybe there's a reason why. Earlier, I think he used, um, was it Dark Hole? Um, and we, uh, we dodged it. I don't know if there was a specific reason why he did that. Um, now, uh, we still happen to have this card, and what, what's, what's amazing with this card is once it goes to the graveyard, uh, which we haven't used its effect because it, it, no one's gotten rid of it yet, and it's it, it's such a pain to deal with this card. Um, but anyways, uh, I know what I was thinking about playing. I think it's called Light of Redemption. You gotta like add a banished light monster. I think you have to pay 800 life for it. I wonder if there's something that like brings back things from the banner zone into your um, deck. Um, I know that there's Burrow from the different dimension, which puts him back in the graveyard, but I want to put him back into my deck and maybe like draw. Like, I want a, a Jar of Avarice for banished stuff. But nonetheless, this is, this is getting to be a pretty interesting duel here. Um, I mean, I, I would say we've been ahead most of the game, but like, they've had. It's funny because you look at these cards, you're like, wow, did he have Regeki, Dark Hole, a, a freaking a Reborn Tengu? Um, but don't matter. Uh, Outplayed and outskilled, man. By the free this deck is really strong, though. Like, I feel like Cyframes and um, the Perform. What, does he has he played Perform Pals yet? Oh, he's just playing the Inside. Like, it's like the Magician deck, but I, I know that they can combine with Perform Pals. Because uh, that there's one Perform Pal I bet you he plays, and it like searches like any Pendulum or something like that. Is is really unfair. And it has 1800 attack, but you know, it's Stratos, you know, 1800, too much, pop back row. Anyways, um,. Dodo Dodo Dragon. I haven't seen this guy before. Up twice per turn, this card was spell summoned by the effect of Dodo Monster. Try one Dodo Monster control, then uh, increase level. I feel like it should be able to activate its effect twice. Oh, yeah, it is twice. If it was special summoned. Uh, okay, so you can go into like rank fives with it. So, yeah, like I said, he should have got rid of this uh, earlier. Because I thought it was like simply a, a number deck. But remember, guys, next turn we will be getting back uh, our Cyframe. And, um,. I attributed the Karibo for nothing. I, I went minus, but I, I thought if you excavated them, that would be... I mean, they're going from the deck to the graveyard, but then... I, I gotta read the effect, but I, I thought with Mistake you could. Um, if someone could... Ex well, I guess you don't really need to explain it, because that just becomes... Oh, if Karibo it doesn't work under that. Alright, so... Ooh, that negation, man. Too good. And I don't know. I think at this point, it probably will be game over. He goes, sorry man, can't do that. And bam, my monster come back into the game. Alright, so let's get to activate this. Uh, okay, I think it's like... Oh, well, I mean, I, I could put this... Uh, oh, someone that's a graveyard, I can like put this card back and then like... Uh, or I could put a card back from someone's graveyard. But anyways, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and attack and make game here. So we'll go attack. Uh, no, I don't need to do anything else. I, I love, I love this. Because if anything happens to you, like your side frame, you're just like, oh, nope, I'm going to... Like, if, if I was to attack and let's say um, he didn't have a card in his hand, I could activate this effect, and then I could still banish another card. So, like, this card really makes it good, and you guys can see. Um, being able... He didn't... I didn't destroy any of his monsters. I think... Do I have this one in my hand? This one is really strong. Um, during either player's turn, when a monster effect is activated, you get a special on this card from your hand, and you get to... Um, Special summon a Cypher and Driver, which is the vanilla. So I can synchro it up to an, a level 8, and I get to negate that monster's effect and destroy it. So, like, you activate effect, no, I get to special summon this, synchro up, as long as I have this, and then I get to, uh, you know, win the game. Like, it's it, it basically showed you guys how good Cypher frames are, and you can saw it in chat. He, like, he didn't know how to deal with it, and I understand. Like, I remember when I first played against the, uh, the, um, the chain stun, like I, it was like the Thunderbird Rabbit, and I was like, I don't know what to do, man. Like the the compulsive evacuation escape or something like that. Like it was, I didn't know how to play against it. But if you want to learn how to beat Cyframes, you just get rid of this card early on. And if they get that one normal monster banished, uh, they fall apart relatively fast. I thought the deck was really broken, but you play play the deck enough, or you play against enough, you'll learn these things. But anyways. Thanks for watching, guys, and yeah, we just beat Access tonight. We basically, I would say that was pretty close to like a, a very one-sided flawless victory over there. But I'd like to know, guys, what do you think of Cyframes? If you guys have checked them out already, or what do you think of the, well, actually, I, I know what I think about this deck. I think this this uh, Magician deck, it's out of control, broken. Like, there's too many searching in the deck, and it's just way too consistent. But as far as Cyframes go, I feel like that they're, they are balanced just because you can completely wreck them by getting rid of this card. Like, if this card gets MST, and they can't synchro up immediately uh they fall apart real real fast but anyways thanks for watching guys it's been your boy bailey 
Jay. Actually, Walt Bailey Jay. Uh, it's been your boy, Will Smith, signing out.